this video, we are going to practice creating a custom field. The exercise is going to be over here on the right hand side, and this is a part of our basic level Pro Advisor certification course. If you would like more information about the course, there is a link below in the description. Feel free to click on that after the exercise, but let's go ahead and get started. So Craig would like to pay his customers to contact their sales rep if they have questions about their invoice. He knows he can use tags to track the sales rep, but it doesn't print on the invoice. Is there another way to do this? Well, Craig has a QBO Plus subscription, so his custom field options are limited. As you'll see as we go through this exercise, QBO Advanced has a much more robust amount of options. That said, if Craig doesn't want to upgrade, you can still help him accomplish what he is looking for. So you will need to be in the sample company to do this exercise. If you are not sure how to get into the sample company or get your own free QBOA account, be sure to click on the link below in the description. I have the sample company pulled up over here on the left-hand side. This is the dashboard. So let's get started with the exercise. First, we need to click on the gear icon on the top right corner of the screen and then click on custom fields. If you click on that gear icon right here, it'll expand and you want to then click on under lists, custom fields. Go ahead and click on the add custom field button here. And you will get this pop up here on the side. Now with QBO Plus, your only options for custom fields are to use them for with sales forms and purchase orders. Um, you can use them internally or choose to print them on the forms so that the customer can see them. While this, is, this would normally be the place to create your new field right here, for some reason it does not work in the sample company, so we're gonna add it in another way. So let's go ahead and click on the X to get out of the screen. We are going to click on the plus new button and then select invoice. That plus new button is right here on the left hand side. Go ahead and click on that and then under customers select invoice. Now this time we are going to click on the gear icon on the top right corner of your screen. As you can see right here, go ahead and click on that. Now this is similar to the account and settings found from the gear icon or through the gear icon from the dashboard like we just uh, tried to do but much more condensed. When you are inside a transaction, the gear icon will only display the options that are available for this particular transaction type. In the case of an invoice, you have the option to choose which fields display on the invoice. You also have the option to add a custom field. In a sample company, we will need to use this option for our field. So let's go ahead and click on the plus add custom field that is right here. And when you do, you will see that this is the same screen as what we saw when we were trying to create the custom fields on that previous step. However, this one is the only one that works uh, for our purposes in the sample company. This is the only one, the only way to do it in the sample company. Uh, but know that in real life, you could do it the other way. So let's go ahead and complete the form. In the name field, we're going to enter sales rep. So go ahead and click into that name field, type sales rep. Then we need to click on the checkbox next to all sales forms, which is right here. Click on that. Then the toggle next to print on form to turn it on. Go ahead and click on that toggle. It will turn green. That's how you know that it is on. And then we're going to click on save. That save button is down here. Click on that. And we now have a sales rep field on the invoice. Note that in the QBO plus versions of uh, custom fields, the only option you have is a text field. That is right here. Here's that sales rep field that we just added. This is only a text field. And this means that each time you create an invoice, you will have to manually type the name of the sales rep. If Craig wants to include the person's phone number as well, that's a lot of typing. Plus, it needs to be exactly the same every time in order for it to show up correctly on reports. QBO Advanced offers much more flexibility, including in the ability to create a drop-down list that you could just select from each time. In QBO Advanced, you can also attach a custom field to a custom record. So if, for instance, Felicia is the sales rep for ABC Company, you could include that on all ABC Company's invoices. So um, 
learning the features of QBO Advanced is outside of the scope of this exercise. So for now, we're just going to add the sales rep and see how it appears on the invoice. So just a little bit um, background information of what the difference would be between this QBO Plus subscription versus the QBO Advanced. Basically, we really need to be very careful if this is in real life, what you're working with clients, you need to be very mindful of how you type it in so that every single time it is the exact same format so that if you are running reports, you are able to see all of the information um, in the uh, condensed in, a, in the proper way rather than having you know um, a sales rep name uh, written three different times showing in reports three different ways so um, just know that QBO plus does have a few limitations QBO advance is definitely easier when it comes to having create a, um, having custom fields um, but let's go ahead and continue with the exercise just so we can see how it shows up on that form in the customer field, let's go ahead and select Amy's Bird Sanctuary. So click on that down arrow. And when you do, you will see the drop down up here. Click on Amy's Bird Sanctuary there. You will see this little pop-up drawer up here for us. We're gonna add in this custom design billable time. Go ahead and click on add so that it moves over here into the invoice. Now in that sales rep field, we're going to type Felicia555-1212. So go ahead and click into that box and go ahead and type that Felicia555-1212. And now let's see how this looks on the invoice. We're going to click on printer preview twice, once from the black bar and then once from the pop-up list. So down here is that print or preview, go ahead and click on that. And then from that pop-up that you get, go ahead and click on it once again. Now you'll notice that QBO has added the sales rep um, field to the invoice. If I scroll in, you can see now that it says sales rep and that is part of the invoice itself. So we are all done here. So you can go ahead and click on close. I know my video screen is probably covering it, but close is over down here on the bottom left corner. Click on close. And then we're simply going to click on save and close. So click on that down arrow right here, select save and close. And now that had that invoice has been saved, but now you can see how to create that custom field and what it would look like on a sales form such as an invoice. Now, if you like this exercise and you want to do more like this, or you want more information about that basic level pro advisor certification course, be sure to click on the link below in the description and I will see you in the next exercise.